What's going on, friends? Ryan with Hfield Cards, back at you with another video. Well, I stayed up way too late last night and got up way too early. Uh, but I love doing this. So today is going to be something different. Uh, this is going to be a, a picks kind of video. And let me preface this, that I'm not a professional and don't don't follow what I do because you'll lose money. So there's that. Anyways, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all the games and basically just kind of give you who I think is going to win uh, against the spread. And for three of the games, I'm actually going to give you some prop bets that I think might happen. So we're going to start with the Raiders versus the Ravens. So the uh, Ravens are favored by 8.5, and the over-under is 40.5. I'm pretty sure the Ravens are going to dominate this game. So I'm going to pick the Ravens uh, minus 8.5, so 9. I think Derrick Henry is going to get 80-plus yards rushing. He, uh, they are just going to lean on him. They won't be behind in this game, so they won't have to throw a lot, but... 80-plus yards for Derrick Henry. I think Lamar Jackson won't get 40-plus yards rushing. I think Mark Andrews will uh, make a return <laughs> this week uh, in the stats. I think he's going to get at least four receptions. Um, and if you know, Mark Andrews and Isaiah um, likely will play in the... Uh, at the same time, but Andrews is more of a slot, plays the slot, and Isaiah plays the normal tight end position on the line. So look for Andrews to get more targets. But if you bet $10 on those three props, Derrick Henry, Lamar Jackson, Mark Andrews, uh, you could make $51.30 based on when I did this in FanDuel. Second game. Chargers are favored by four and a half points over the Panthers, and the over-under is 38.5. After watching the Panthers last week, I think the Chargers are just going to handle them. Um, Alvin Kamar ran all over them. I expect J.K. Toppins to run all over them. Uh, Chargers won't have to pass much, but they will. Uh, so for the prop bets for this one, I've got J.K. Dobbins getting 70-plus rushing yards. I've got J.K. Dobbins scoring an anytime TD. I've got Lad McConkey getting 60-plus yards receiving. So if you put $10 on that, that would uh, gain $97.06 on FanDuel. All right. So the last game with props, we're going to go, uh, it's the Saints versus the Cowboys. The Cowboys are favored by six and a half. And I'm going to take the Cowboys minus six and a half. The over-under is 47 and a half. So the props for this, it's pretty easy. CeeDee Lamb, anytime TD. CeeDee Lamb, 90 plus yards receiving. Brandon Cooks. 47 plus yards receiving. Luke Schoenmacher, three plus receptions. Because, you know, Ferguson's either going to be out or very limited. So if you put $10 on that, that'll pay $108.20 on FanDuel. So that is. Anything over three legs is, you know, it really gets more difficult, but that's the one I like. You know, I like I like when you make over when you you know get into triple digits in your winnings. All right, now the rest of these are just straight picks. I've got no props, but we've got the Buccaneers versus the Lions. The Lions are favored by seven and a half points, and the over under is fifty one and a half. I uh, the Buccaneers did really well last week uh, against the Redskins, not the Commanders. Uh, and the Lions had a shootout with the Rams. I expect the Lions to handle the Buccaneers pretty 
pretty well this week. Um, one matchup, if you're looking for a matchup for fantasy, is Mike Evans. He'll be on the rookie, uh, Terry and Arnold. And Terry and Arnold's a good good cornerback, but he's a rookie. So look for Mike Evans to have some yards, a score. I expect him to do well today. But Lions minus 7.5. Our next game is the Cleveland Browns versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. Jaguars are favored by three. Over under is 41 and a half. Uh, I, straight out, I do not believe in Deshaun Watson. I think he is a fraud. I, I, Cleveland wasted their money. Guaranteed contract, wasted money. They need, to, they need to go in another direction. I've got the Jags minus three in this game. Um, I think they're just going to overpower the Browns. Next game, we have the uh, 49ers versus the Vikings. 49ers are favored by four and a half points. Over under is 40 and a half. Um, obviously, the big news is CMC is out. He's on IR. But I don't think that's going to be a problem. Um, they will be able to run on the Vikings. And uh, I do not see Sam Darnold repeating the performance he, was, he did last week against the Giants. So give me the 49ers uh, minus four and a half points. Next game, Seahawks versus the Patriots. Seahawks are favored by three and a half. Over and under is 38 and a half. Yeah, I don't know what happened in Cincinnati last week that the Patriots won, um, but it ain't happened again. Seahawks are going to, they're going to take care of them, and they're going to take care of them by more than three and a half points. So I've got the Seahawks minus three and a half points. That's a good one. This next game, Colts are favored by two and a half points versus the Packers. The over and under is 40 and a half. All right, so Jordan Love is out, Malik Willis is in, and Malik Malik Willis is trash. Uh, I have I collected his cards to invest in, and they're just gonna sit there because he is not good. Um, they they they'd be better off playing Sean Clifford, I think. So I think the Colts are going to this this line is just crazy. So take the Colts, minus two and a half. This is my lock of the week. Our next game, we have the Jets versus the Titans. The Jets are favored by three and a half. And the over-under is 41 and a half. Uh, the Jets, I'm not sure what's going on with them, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the Titans with the points this week. I think... Uh, Three and a half points is a, is a good bit of points. Um, I think Will Levis, you know, without that pick six he had last week, I think he did pretty good. Um, I'm not sold on the Jets yet, so let's go with the Titans. All right, so we next next game we have the Giants versus the Commanders. Redskins. Commanders are favored by one and a half points. Oh, my God. And the over-under is 43 and a half. No. No, the Commanders should not be favored in this game. Um, I don't believe in Daniel Jones, but they they will beat the Redskins. Um, so I'm taking the Giants by, and I'll take, and I um, get a point and a half. Um, I think Jaden Daniels will look better this week, but I think the Giants will will come out our next game we have the rams versus the cardinals the cardinals are a, are a one and a half point favorite um and the over under is 47 and a half again if you saw the way kyler murray played last week i don't know how they can be favored so give me the rams giving me a, a point and a half i'll take it they're gonna win outright Next game is Bengals versus the Chiefs. Chiefs are favored by six and a half. The over and under is 47 and a half. Look, I, I don't know what's going on in Cincy. Uh, T. Higgins is out, probably. 
Um, Jamar Chase is his head in the games. He wants that contract. And I don't believe in Joe Burrow. I don't think that wrist is is healed. Um, I don't know if he can straighten it out this week, but I don't think he will. Um, I think the Chiefs are going to be too much. I think you're going to see a lot of Travis Kelsey in this game for sure. So take the Chiefs um, and give six and a half points. Next game, you have the Steelers versus the Broncos. The Steelers are favored by two and a half points. Over and under is 36 and a half. Um, you and I, we all saw Bonex last week. No, that ain't happening. Uh, I think um, I think Fields is is going to look good today. I really do. Uh, Patrick Sertain for the Broncos is a dang good cornerback, um, but the Steelers are going to overpower them. Uh, there's just no. I don't. I don't see the Broncos coming close in this game. So take the Steelers and give give two and a half. Next game, we have the Bears versus the Texans. Texans are favored by six and a half. Over and under is 45 and a half. Um, Texans are good. There, there's no doubt about that. They are a good team uh, in every aspect of, of the game. I think Caleb Williams is going to show out this game. Um, I don't think the Bears will win the game, but if you give me six and a half points, I think they're in it because they have a good defense. So give me the Bears and give me the points, six and a half. And our final game is the Monday night football game. It's the Falcons versus the Eagles. Eagles are favored by six. Over and under is 46 and a half. I don't really have a, uh, a reason for this pick other than it's a gut. Um, Kirk looked horrible horrid last week and no mobility at all and he's got to fix that if if the falcons want to win any games eagles looked amazing running back uh jalen hurts eh, i believe in jalen but i I've, I've heard that aj brown is going to be a game time decision so with that in mind I'm going to take the points. So give me the Falcons plus six points, but I still think Eagles will win the game. So let me know in the comments below what you think about this uh, series for me, doing uh, doing picks and doing some prop bets. You know, Do you want to see more of it? Do you want to see, see me offer more prop bets for each game? Or what do you want to do? Um, I'm, I'm open to suggestions. So, and how, and how do you want me to see it? Right, right now, I'm just, you know, I'm showing you a page that I've created. But anyways, um, like the video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Uh, I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Go enjoy your Sunday football today. And uh, I hope you and your fantasy teams win. And I hope your football teams win. So, thanks again for watching. And I will see you on the next one.